Hi, good evening, everybody. Welcome to PJs with PJ, Pajama Talks with Pastor Jeannie. I am Pastor Jeannie Sortland, and I serve the Kensal United Methodist Church and St. John's United Methodist Church in Wimbledon, North Dakota. And I am very glad that you are joining me. And I hope that something I have tonight um, stirs your thinking. Um, stirs up your faith a little bit. Uh, you know, we all need to, to dig a little deeper sometimes. And so I hope I can help provide an avenue for that. So my kids, you know, they're home all the time. So there's more fighting. And whenever I investigate what's going on, there's always different versions of the truth. And I just wish that I had a way to tell for sure what the truth was. And that is one of the things that we are going to be talking about um, today in 1 John chapter 4. We're working through this first letter of John. So not the Gospel John, um, but 1 John chapter 4. And so we'll read it and then we'll talk about it talk about it a little bit and we're just going to read through the first six verses tonight beloved do not believe every spirit but test the spirits to see whether they are from God for many false prophets have gone out into the world by this you know the spirit of God every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God and every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. So I think we've all heard people speak that we listen and we're like, mm, that doesn't really sound like the gospel message as I know it, or um, things don't just, they don't jive with what is being said. Um, or with what we know of God. And so we do need to be on alert um, because those people are in the world and and we will hear them. And so we always need to be um, in prayer, in commune with God, so that we have a better sense of what's, what's true and what's not. Um, and we're back in three now. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that it is coming, and now it is already in the world. Little children, you are from God and have conquered them. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. How awesome and comforting is that, that the spirit that we have inside us, the Holy Spirit, that part of Jesus that resides within us is more powerful than the spirit of evil. Verse 5, they are from the world, therefore what they say is from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us, and whoever, whoever is not from God does not listen to us. From this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And this spirit of truth, that particular phrase um, is used three other times in the Bible, all three in the Gospel of John. And that's why this is, you know, called a letter of John because it heavily references John. But the first one we're going to talk about is John chapter 14, 17. And this is where Jesus is giving the promise that the Holy Spirit is coming. And I, I'll start in 16. Um, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. That advocate is the Holy Spirit. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides with you, and he will be in you. And then we go on to chapter 15, verse 26. 
when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth will come from the Father. He will testify on my behalf. Okay, so that Holy Spirit is going to help reveal to us who's telling the truth. And 16, 13. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. So that is where we get our guidance. Um, and that's where we start to know um, what is truth, because so many people will declare, this is the truth. Um, and sometimes it is, and sometimes it's not. Um, so yeah, we do need to be diligent and trust in the Holy Spirit, that, that spirit of truth. So thanks for joining me tonight, and I hope you have a great day, great evening.